Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video guys today We're gonna be talking about Eula once again um, I'm not gonna be making a lot more videos uh, Like this because I've already used and saturated all the Eula things that I need to talk about especially on my last video that you guys showed a lot of support on if you guys haven't already Go watch that video pretty good pretty fun. Anyways, I'm going to be talking about the Eula artifacts that I already have prepared for her. And well, let's just pretend for a second that my Chungian is Eula. <laughs> just pretend, imagine on your screen, whoa, Eula suddenly appeared. Whoa, Eula's on my screen, guys. Eula, Eula's in the game. And I'm just going to show you guys the weapon and the artifacts that I have ready for her. Well, the weapon, this is, this is not right. This is the weapon <laughs> of course as you guys see it is not leveled up yet not even close to be fully leveled up yet and i have a lot of work to do so i'm gonna be working on that but this is the claymore that i'm gonna be using if um i don't pull a five star claymore from the banner obviously i'm gonna try my best to get eula and if i do get eula pretty early I'm gonna try to get to the 5 star claymore <laughs> or else uh yeah I'm just gonna stick with this one this one isn't bad this one's pretty good so let's just read about a little bit physical damage bonus on the snow tomb star silver as you can see um hitting an opponent with a normal charge attack has a 60% chance of forming and dropping an ever frost icicle what this does is that's 80% of your attack has AoE this is cool because if you use your E or something like that, you're going to deal cryo damage. And if your opponent is affected by cryo, this will do 200% of attack, which is incredible. I thought that was pretty neat. So she's going to do a good amount of damage with this Claymore. So I cannot wait to fully upgrade this and have it ready for her on the day of when she arrives. So as we move on, this is my full artifact. No, it is not entirely leveled up yet. It is going to be very soon. Though. It is going to be very soon. And yeah, it's going to be exciting. So first things first, I have a 7, 3.9, um, Enter Mastery 61, and HP 9.9 um, attack plume. Yes, this sucked because it only rolled on HP and Elemental Mastery. It rolled nothing on crit damage or crit rate, even though they were pretty both high rolls i think this is a max roll crit rate and uh, not quite a max roll crit damage but come on man so close if i did this would have been a god feather if it just rolled correctly but that's fine i guess and i got a pretty decent very decent um bloom uh flower here very nice crit rate rolled once on it and crit damage rolled once on it um, I think it rolled on defense as well, which is sad, but yeah, not bad. I think it rolled twice on crit rate, actually. Don't quote me on that, but I did. I do think it rolled twice on crit rate. So not bad there. Very copium. But th this is the one I was very proud of. I made a whole video on it. it. It was from my live stream, but I did upload a video of it. And yeah, very, very good. Rolled once only on attack percentage, and the rest rolled on crit damage. This is an insane crit rate piece. It's gonna help my crit rate, my crit damage by a lot. I cannot wait to use it for Eula. It's just gonna be awesome and I cannot wait to put this on her. And the last but not least, I don't know if I showed this to you guys. Actually, it's not the last thing, but this is the physical damage bonus cup. It actually sucks. Like, it genuinely sucks. But it is on set, and if I do, can get like, I don't know, crit rate, crit damage, or maybe attack percentage, it would be pretty copium and it would be pretty okay to use. But it does suck just a little bit. And all I need is a physical damage bonus from this technically, so that would be something, I guess. Um, until I work on something else, I suppose. And the last but not least, this is not the thing I'm going to be using. I can use any one of these depending on which one I want. Or I can try to get something else, for example, this leveled up. It'd be pretty, pretty interesting, pretty neat. It's attack percentage, 
So we're gonna try our best to get ourselves um, maybe attack percentage, depending uh, on how I feel about her. Um, we're gonna try to see if that's any good. I mean, that's that, it has to be the one we're gonna be using. It's not like we're gonna put HB on her or Elemental Master. So yeah, we're gonna put one of these on her. Uh, I'm not sh quite sure which one yet. I'll, I'll probably upgrade this one to see what I can do with it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all my artifacts. That's all my weapons for her. Her talents. I have no idea what they need. Uh, neither do I know for her ascension. But I'm assuming you need a lot of um, those ice pieces. Anyways. So that's about it for this video guys. Hopefully you guys got something from it. This is my full set. I'm going to use no tomb star silver whenever i upgraded and this is my artifact set thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button that'd be greatly appreciated see you guys in the next video goodbye